Oh, at first it's kind of fun because you're getting attention and you're thinking, oh, well, at least my notice my reads me. You know? That's kind of fun. I mean, well, the funniest thing I remember one time I there was a band around LA called Sparks, and I really like Sparks a lot. And uh, I said, you know, I guarantee you this record is a good record. And so uh, the person didn't like it. They they sent me the record. It was smashed, and said so they, they want their money back. <laughs> and that's kind of cute. Mostly, you the the the, the, the thing that gradually becomes more memorable than the, the fan letters, though, is because you, 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 know, you know you're going to get a fan letter, I mean, a, a letter back from somebody, and it's good, you always like that person, the fact that they would take that much time to write about it, but the fact that uh, when artists complain to you, <laughs> either on stage, you know, uh, if they attack you on stage or write something to you, or you, you get introduced to them and you sit across, some nights, I've, a couple times in my life, I've been sat across the table from somebody I gave a bad review to, and that's really awkward and stuff, but they try to make the best of it. They don't make a scene and stuff like that, but I've, several times I've been attacked on, a, you know, at a show, people holding the paper up and that kind of stuff, and this time that was, it's, it's usually kind of fun, except the time that was the strangest to me was Elvis Costello did it one time, and Elvis Costello was a guy I changed Champion. I was one of the first people in the country to write about Elvis Costello, saying how great this guy is, and how this and this and this and this. But he did a show at the Wiltern, I think it was, or Wilshire, and uh, it was he was there for five nights in a row. And the, I went to the opening night, and he just did all his greatest hits. And I said, this is a waste. I said, look, the guy, a guy who's this good shouldn't just do his greatest hits. He should do other things, and, and, and uh, he mixed up his catalog, and it's much more fun, and it's too easy coming out. And so he came on stage, and, you know, after the, and said, he said, this guy, he says, I, I do every song everyone wants to hear, and he says, that's the wrong thing to do. He says, you can't, and my friends who live here say, you can't get a good review in this town if you're not Bruce Springsteen anyway. And he's going like that. And, uh, but I've talked to him since then. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it probably hurts, you know, an artist to get a, a negative review. But to me, it was just strange having a guy who I liked, you know, attacking you back. It, usually, you, it's people who you don't like attacking you back, and that's just kind of makes you feel, you know, stronger. Like Toto, one time, they won a, a four or five Grammys, and the f last time they went to the podium to get the Grammys, they probably couldn't think of anything else to say, so they said, they want to thank Robert Hilburn for all of the, the, his inspiration, because I used to attack him all the time, and so it was just a funny thing, so that was, it's great when that kind of thing happens, because it's, it's funny, you know, it's funny, and, uh, uh, but again, it's the, the, the time, the artist that you really admire attacks you, that's when you kind of feel uh, a little strange, you know, over something you've written, and, you know, it's happened with different artists, and especially if you like an artist for a long time, then they do something that's disappointing to you, uh, that's why you really cannot become friends with any artist because it's like it's too hard to 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 review somebody honestly. Uh, even it's even, even if even if you if you're a fan if you're kind of a fan of an artist and every critic is a fan of certain artists. How do you give that if you like that artist? How do you give them a bad review? You know that that's that's always a hard thing. But secondly, what if, what if you're friends with the guy? What if you go to dinner with him every you know two weeks or something like that? How do you write that? And so you can't. I mean, that's, you have to learn. You're not a Friend, you know, you don't get in. You don't get into writing journalism to be a friend. You never go out with artists. You never see them unless you're doing an interview with, you know, a, a, a doing work with them. I don't go backstage at shows to say hello or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and people probably assume you do. They probably assume you're always out, you know, this and that. But it's just you have to separate yourself. You know, you're because it's going to change at some point. You're not going to like what that artist does, and um, uh, you got to be honest about that, you know. And it can ruin the relationship. I mean, even some artists don't want to do interviews with you anymore after you give them a bad review like that, you know, and stuff. And so you have to just be prepared for that kind of a thing. Well, but you, but you just don't. I mean, you you you, you kind of have friendships, but it's only based on I'll see you next time you make a record. I mean, you know, do an interview. It's not it's not based on seeing them after that. You know, there's very few people. I've never been gone to London and call somebody and say I'm in town. Let's go out to dinner or something like that. Or when somebody comes into town, I've never. You just have to. You have to. You have to. It's separation of church and state in in in, in some kind of way, and. Uh, uh, it's uh, you know it's like you know I mean I, again I don't it's it's I mean also it's kind of artificial like you know do they like are they being friends because you can give them a good review and are you being friends with them because they're an important artist and you want to access to them so it, you know you, it's like even if, it, it, it would be, you'd be quite, I think you'd be questioning the friendship even if you if you tried to establish friendships with people. And I've seen a lot of people, a lot of writers do that. Though they'll go, they'll go backstage. They'll they'll say hello. They'll. I just don't understand how they can do that.